Welcome everybody to the Monday, April 3rd meeting of the Conway Select Board, which at uh, 6.30 p.m. will be a joint meeting with the Conway Finance Committee. Call the meeting to order. First item on the agenda, voting to approve the minutes of March 20th and 27th, 2023. So, um, The March 27th one, there are a couple of uh, corrections. The first is number five, new business. The select board and Don had an informal, not in, informal. And then underneath that, the general discussion with Rachel Stoller, it stated that there was $4,000 that would help the committee. That could be changed to $4,230. Every two hundred thirty dollars counts. <laughs> so, uh, with that, uh, I'd like to make a motion to uh, amend that March twenty seventh meet uh, minutes and approve the amended minutes. I second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. March twentieth. Um, those are the yeah, like fine, right? yeah. So, the motion to approve March 20th, three minutes. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. It's unanimous. Aye. We have no warrants tonight. Meetings attended by select board members. Chris. I attended the meeting concerning uh, the creation of a wood bank. And immediately following that was the uh, Capital Improvement Committee meeting as well. And you also, you and Moose, made a tremendous appearance at, oh, at the bridge. Yes, yes. 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 At the forget. bridge ribbon cutting. Moose made that Correct. bridge ribbon cutting. <laughs> Charming, when you got the car. <laughs> um, Erica? Uh, I was also at the bridge ribbon cutting, which yes. I. Might not have remembered <laughs> except, except people apparently saw my photo in the paper, which they wouldn't have known. <laughs> they didn't mention my name, but people who knew me were like, I saw you know the paper. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess I went to all the same meetings that Chris went to. And um, we have a bunch of other ones too, whatever. Um, Public comments. I imagine Jan is here for to discuss this station public forum issue and new business, not necessarily a public comment. That's correct. Thank you. It's always, always surprising the disembodied voices. <laughs> <clears throat> Unfinished business, nothing new business. <clears throat> um, we had said that all. Warrant articles are due. There's a couple that we're still sort of working on for next week, but in theory, we know what they are. Right, we have placeholders. Yes. We had to have a placeholder for every article by. Is that includes the dissent petitions too? Yes, and that has already been duly certified by the clerk, and that's all sent to her. And <clears throat> there's one that I wanted to run by you to the, the two of you. So, and that regards is regarding the. Um, community preservation committee and whether or not we want to amend the bylaw so they're created by bylaw and statute or we adopt the statute and whether or not we wanted to um, more carefully delineate what exactly the duties of that commission is of, of that committee is and specifically whether or not if they have an applicant, if they are presented with an application that meets the statutory definitions and there's funding that they have to, that, that they should just forward that, forward that to town meeting for a vote. Um, um, or, or do they have free will? Or you do, because right, it, that's the way it's always been. In my experience, that committee has always, if, they didn't pass on the merits of an application. If it satisfied the law, 
they went for it. But you know, my my experience with them this year is they're contemplating the relative merits of each application to see if they agree with it or not. And the the difficulty in that, um, you know, I, I, I concede that they, they mean. I'm going to I'm going to concede that they mean well, but the problem is they know nothing about what each committee's up to, and they're not going to know what anything. And sort of when each when all of our different committees in town, like do, should should they have a right to sort of not right, but should should it be that they have a reasonable expectation that like if they do something. They get all their ducks in order that it's going to go forward, or or should they be worried from day one to be cluing in the the community preservation committee um, to whatever? So so that's kind of do, do. If we want, we can do a bylaw that just says if it meets the conditions, if you have the money, pass it forward. You can do your objections at town meeting, but. A hand a couple of unelected people to be you know to be the to, to say you know um, no school we don't think any school stuff should be you know what, whatever like whatever went down this year it doesn't really matter it's not, not the particulars of what went down it's just the fact that they are putting in should, should they be free to, to substitute their own sort of judgment about the relative merits of an application and and the other things that we heard is sort of we want to be more careful about what we approve because we want to save money for a big, big project if one ever comes along. Um, is one ever going to come? This is kind of it's like what big project? We, we're 100% well, 100% set. What big project are we ever going to have? But, um, so, so, so that's we, we didn't really draft one, but I if 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 you two are like against that, then then I don't want to really work on drafting it. Um, I, I, I'm not against anything. I just feel like I want to. You know, I want a little more background about how the community preservation committee has worked in the past, like what the protocol has been like exactly. With I just feel like I want more background. Like I think this is a valuable discussion, um, but I feel like I don't have enough information to have so that the, discussion right now. Uh, you know, like the 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 last constant like it's an all new it's all new people the last time that this committee was active last year they they explicitly stated that they're not passing on the merits of anything that that committee just felt that if it met the statute and there was money let town meeting sort it out mm -hmm. um <clears throat> and that my experience in the so i think the cpa has been around <clears throat> I think the, the year that it was passed was like one of my first years. It's like 12 or 14 years old, something like that. And um, my, my experience is that that is how it always operated, that <clears throat> they didn't pass on the merit. They didn't discuss the merits. They just put everything forward. They put everything forward. They, they're, they're, they made sure that everything was lawful in, in every respect. <clears throat> and they made sure that there was money to fund it. And if those two things were met, then town meet, then they passed it on to town meeting. Some of them still stood up at town meeting and said, I don't approve of this. But um, but better to do that at town meeting than just to deprive the town of the mm -hmm. of whatever. And so so this is the first time when there are members on that committee that are just saying, I don't like this project, or or I you know, I don't think. That you know specifically when, when they stated on the record, there's, there's one person that specifically stated, "I don't think the school should be able to use the CPA funds because the school can just get a warrant and get it paid anyway." And you, know, uh, and, and you try to explain that when a town meeting government, anybody with ten signatures can get a warrant on the warrant article. Like anybody has can do just what the school is doing, whatever. And but the, my point is that like is that. Um, that that's a tough thing to have to do on a weekday night of just like be ready for every and all kinds of you know, persuasion. You know, they have to persuade somebody that it's a that there's merit to what they're saying when they might not be persuadable. So um, previously they didn't offer opinions or recommendations; they would just pass it on. Correct. 
Correct. That's my in, in my experience. That's what they did. Some 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 maybe others disagree, but um, I don't think and, I don't think they should be able to vote anything down. But I don't see any problem with offering recommendations or opinions. But again, I'm yeah. with Erica. Like I had, I don't know the history of it. Yeah, um, I, I mean, because what you just said was like a bylaw amendment or actually proposing a new bylaw. So, right, because because they're unlike most of our town committees, they're created by bylaw and they are explicit. Like the, the, the bylaw states what their duties are and everything. So this would be adding just one part to that. That like this is your remit. Like make sure that it's legal that legal in all respects, and that includes stuff like community, you know, right. uh, con con stuff and wetland stuff and all this other stuff. This and you know that's somebody's got to check that, and that's what that committee should be doing. And also, um, that their request meets the statute. Like there's like three, three right. uh, areas, um, and some some of the stuff that we applied for didn't really meet the statute. The the state the the stage curtain, you could you could there they, that they wrote it down the, for the grammar school. That you could you could look at that and say that didn't really meet the statute. So that's and that's okay. So sometimes they have to vote stuff down. Um, but I, yeah, I just I, I feel like it's a it's a larger it's it's a good conversation. I think we need to have it. I just feel like it's a larger conversation. If there's nothing that we can really decide right now, so I'll work on the bylaw, and then next week we can have at it, and we'll be conferring with town council too. Just to and then town and yeah. then. And then we can have that discussion at town meeting, voting on the bylaw, which is a good thing, which is right. a good thing to have. So, all right. Um, the, and then was there any other warrant or any other discussion you wanted to have about any warrant article? Um, I mean, I could discuss some of them today, but I'd rather kind of do it when I have a whole draft in front of everybody and we can go through. Yeah. Um, but the good news is that the, so far the math that you came up with agrees with the math that Mike. <laughs> that's a really big deal because I remember when that hasn't been the case, and that's like that's a pretty scary place to be. Um, so next item: vote to pro to appoint Christine Ken Kenneally Ken 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 Canoodle, <laughs> Keneally, to the Cultural Council for a term ending 6-30-2025. Um, I move to appoint Christine Keneally. I'm glad that anyone is willing to serve on a town committee. I think this is great. So I move to appoint Christine Keneally to the Cultural Council for a term ending 6-30-2025. And second. All in favor? Right. I know. So Kristen Strange had given in her resignation, so she's filling that spot. Well, actually, that was just a little strange. Okay, that's fine. I'm going to do it. I'm motion. I'm sorry. Um, so that, the, the vote on the creating of a new mass in motion committee, which we have to discuss about what kind of a committee we want and who wants to be in it. Um, uh, and discuss and vote on the memorandum of understanding. Which, did everybody get that? I know you had to discuss with that about that. Well, we emailed it in, so, um, but you have a copy. This so when, when we were here last week, mm -hmm. this was Rachel, um, Rachel stole, it. stole it from Furcog. Amen. So the, um, and Council of Aging was here, and Board of Health was here, and they each wanted to be in on this. And I, you know, my thing was that it's four thousand three hundred dollars before June, before the end of June. And <clears throat> the way that this agreement reads, it, there's a heavy bias in favor of like using that money to have meetings, to have food at meetings, um, to uh, to come up with what you wanted the committee to be big, you know, to, to focus their attention on the needs that you want to focus their attention on um, that. 
I, I, I seem to be alone in my opinion that like we should just be using that money to actually help people right off the bat. But um, well, since we have a council on aging committee already, why do we need to create a new committee? Can't we just assign this project? The, to um, well, part of it is because the um, the board of health wanted to participate in it. That was number one, and um, the agreement recommends also that the select the MOU recommends that the select board participate in it because it's it's money, and the select board is the one that spends the money. Um, and they do have, you know, rather specific guidelines about yes. what the money can be spent on and what it can be spent on in each year. The first year is all about the planning, but that only goes through June thirtieth. Right. And then after that, you can start implementing any of the things that, you know. They also want a planning board member, maybe a library member. <clears throat> and they're especially interested in anyone with a lived experience of disability participating. But I mean, I'm fine with creating a new committee. I just feel like it's going to be challenging to they called it a working group, yeah. so I'm working wondering group. if you okay. could call it a working group under the select board. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I deal with a lot of, because I'm getting old. <laughs> like, I'm getting old, really, for real. Are you volunteering to be the select board? Well, I, don't, like, I, I, I kind of feel like I've been meeting out for a while now, but... Um, but at the same time, like, uh, I, I it's, for some reason, I seem to attract the people in town, like, especially the older folks in town that are really, really feel safe with me to, like, express, um, like, how challenged they are in so many areas of their lives. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> that was good. See, I try. I try, Adam. Um, oh, I, <laughs> I didn't know I was laughing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Did you turn your mic on just for the chuckle? Yes, that was a good chuckle. <laughs> Not muted, Adam. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. yeah. So, um, well, if you are willing to serve as the select board representative, then I make the move that we create a mass in motion working group under the select board um, <laughs> with Phil as our representative. Okay. All right, this it's, it goes to the end of June. The end of June. Of this year. Well, but then it continues. Yes, right. but then, but, but that's, that, that's, but my, that's my opportunity to opt out at oh, the end right. of June. Well, exactly, so like, yeah, but since like, there's money to spend, then yeah. Yeah, I will second <laughs> this motion. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks. Um, and then we have to sign, we have to vote to sign it, to sign the MOU. Uh, I think right. that we sign the MOU um, with mass in motion. And that will be changed from committee to working group? Well, it's with the fur cut. Uh, the the contract's contract. actually with the fur yeah. Okay, so I move that we sign the mass in motion contract with Look at that signing. Yeah, I'm signing it right now. Oh, did we? <laughs> sorry, I'm signing it right now. Second and the. Um, uh, all in favor? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Sorry. Yeah. Bye. Good. See you next. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next. Um, Greenland design, design Associates. So this is actually a really cool thing. I get excited about this stuff because I know what these things cost in the open market. I know what we're paying for and I love the part. Um, and and this, is, this is because we have such an awesome volunteer group doing this. And Peter Jeswald and Walter Goodrich just never cease to blow me away at like the quality of their work that they do as volunteers and like, how much money they save us and how much better they make everything that they touch. And like, and, and you know, Ronnie's been doing really good work with them too. 
Oh no, 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 no. This is all them. Trust me. <laughs> but, but, but like you're keeping, you're keeping, you're keeping the thing going forward, and that's appreciated. Um, and and Ron Sweet and Bob Baker and Kenny Wimet also do. And Chris Herman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but this is really cool because um, this is for an amount of ten thousand six hundred dollars for engineering for, for the engineering. So it's basically. But the, the price of their engineering stamp is like really a high dollar thing. Um, and it's like not only just the stamp, it's an actual like functional plan um, mm -hmm. and outlining what future plans are going to be. So and they're going to do it. For yeah. They're getting us through. They split it up into two different sections. So you can see one was 5,000, one was 5,600. And they're getting us through to the bid documents for the front wow. bar. So, for, and this is just for the public at home. This is for the addition to the public safety building to house the offices for fire, police, and ambulance. So, this is the design and engineering costs that Freeland Associates has put forth for the town. And the public buildings committee met last week and reviewed this and voted unanimously to accept it and then put it before the select board for a signature if you so choose. It's yeah, and this is David Freeland is the same engineer that did the plans for the highway buildings, and his work has been is super awesome. And um, yeah, have so, you seen this design? Um, like I've seen it, I think I don't. It, I'm not. Um, it ain't my cup of tea, but like, uh, but but I've seen it all, and I it looks complicated. It yeah. looks like engineer stuff. And um, yeah, I, I sat down with it a couple. I, I could see that it's a valuable commodity and that I can see, like, I, I see enough of it that like, I know that it's a really good thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But there's, it's good to have friends and it's good to have your friends. <laughs> And that's how you totally. Oh, that's how stuff gets done. Okay. Um, so this is all three of us that would need to sign this. Okay. Um, I move that we send a contract with Freeland to. It is the scope of service proposal for the design and preparation of bid documents for the Conway Public Safety Building Edition. So moved. Uh, a second. All in favor? Aye. 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 It's unanimous. I'll sign it and I'll guess it down here. Thank you. They're going to be very excited to get moving on this. <laughs> Make sure to take that, everybody, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, charming that got that saliva spit on it. <laughs> so the next item is how we're going to pay for that ten thousand six hundred dollar engineering study that we just talked about and uh the proposal here is that i'd like you to consider is the um Paying for it out of ARPA money. It is the public safety building. It's what we decided was priority number one for the ARPA. And um, 
it would bring our balance down to something like 400 and 395, 395, 395,000. Um, but so I, I, I will uh, make a motion that we use the ARPA money for the public safety building design engineering from the Breland Associates that we just voted to approve. Second your motion, that's easy one. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's unanimous. So. Um, next item that Jan is here for, uh, a discussion on the agenda and all related items for the uh, second transfer station public forum. Um, <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> wow, I feel like I'm right in your house right now. <laughs> I tell you, the kids are howling. <laughs> I, I believe you. Yes, too lousy, noisy, I should. They're wonderful grandchildren, but they're noisy grandchildren. I'm now going out to the sun porch. It's chilly, but quiet. <laughs> uh, whoops. They're yeah, wonderful. They are. Yes. I believe, I believe you. I, I, I believe you. I, the children. Um, <laughs> Transfer station public forum. So, um, anybody want to start the discussion? Erica? Uh, yes. <laughs> Go ahead. I thought our last discussion was very encompassing. There were a couple of things based on feedback that I would change for a proposal, but I think the discussion we had was exactly what was needed. I want to really um, divert from that. <laughs> But there are a couple suggestions based on conversations I've had with uh, others and the feedback we got from that uh, that meeting that I want to propose. But I don't know if I if there's any other anything else to add aside from what uh, Baronik said about how to obtain our decals. Yeah, the the sticker the the sticker. The, the new sticker process, I'm 100% in favor of. Um, like I think that that's, that that's a really good way to handle something that we knew was not, that, that not everybody that had a sticker was on the up and up. And we knew, we knew like I, I personally saw residents of Buckland coming through our thing with stickers. Um, <laughs> like I, you know, and, and I, personally knew of residents from like all of our neighboring towns that had a Conway sticker. Um, and like, I didn't. Do you want me to give the highlights of what that proposal Yes, is? please do. Give, the highlights. <laughs> give us the highlights. Okay. So um, I, <clears throat> excuse me. I put together a proposal actually based on my prior experience and having done that for 10 years in South Hadley, where what we used to do is we had a permit sticker with the spot on it where you could write in the license plate number. And that way, not only was, were you absolutely sure that that vehicle belonged in Conway, but then the sticker was tied to the vehicle. Mm -hmm. So when I ordered the stickers this year, I put that placeholder in there in case the board decided they wished to do this. So the number one change, there's two big changes. One that all of this will take place at town hall, not the transfer station. So Jan Warner has very kindly offered herself and Lori <laughs> at Lori Hall um, and Adam and I, the four of us will, whenever it's, it's open, we will take, um, we'll, we'll give people their permit stickers. So that's the number one change. The number two is that everybody will have to show us some form of their vehicle registration. They can take a picture of it with their phone and bring it in as long as it has all the information you need. Uh, we can hear you, Roy. Okay, good. Sorry to interrupt. I thought it was muted. <laughs> Those, the biggest problem had really been, well, for people who can't get to us during open hours, and there's a lot of them, how do we deal with that? Well, we have a drop box there now. 
So we'll put some kind of form up on the website and have it available. I'll have it listed out with information we need. You pop that in the box with an envelope just addressed, just so we have the right address to send it back to. We'll send back the registration, which is actually privileged and information, so we do not hang on to that, um, along with the permit sticker with the license plate already written. So that was my proposal. So people have to drop out their actual registration. Yeah, you make a copy. Or you can, okay, all right. So we'll take, take a picture of it. Yeah. Well, you have to, if you take a picture of it, you still have to print it out if you're doing it through Dropbox. So, yeah. What are the and, forms of payment? So you can pay cash if you're in the town hall and we're there. No cash in the Dropbox. Otherwise, it's check. But sorry, yeah, I forgot to do the online one. You can also purchase it online. But you still have to get the sticker. Can you verification of your registration? Um, yeah, you still have to get the sticker through town hall, one way or the other. But you can pay online. But you can pay online. Mm -hmm. for it. So this takes like a lot. I mean, I feel like this is good for the transfer station attendants because they just have this like one set policy. They're like, we don't take money for it. Yeah. They don't have to worry about the right. stickers at all anymore. That's correct. And we will not sell as many stickers. I, I, it might only be like 20, 30, or 40 less, but that might make a difference. That might, um, there's reason to believe that the people that from out of town that had those stickers were heavy, well, some of them were heavy users of the transfer station. Um, so, uh, so how about businesses? Yeah. Um, so I, I, you know, that, that I thought that was a, a productive debate at that last forum. Um, and that, that that's, you know, there's businesses we pay, Hey, we pay taxes too. Um, and there's, you know, businesses, you got, you seem to be heavy users of the transfer station that the rest of us subsidize. Like, so, um, there's both sides of that question. We're like right out there for everybody to see. Um, I, I, you know, I think there, that there's some, uh, uh, you know, to, to, if in a, in a perfectly fair world, I think we would discriminate amongst several of the businesses because there's some businesses that, um, like to, to me, like the, the, uh, a public horse stables or something like that, like that, that takes money from custom from, from customers for each little stall, like they should be having a, uh, their own, their own. Um, you know, whatever their own thingy for trash. Uh, but and, you know, but but like, do you think there's? But, but we can't discriminate. You can't do that. It's all like I know. I know enough to know that it's all businesses or no businesses. You can't like pick and choose your favorites. I, I would think. Do you think some businesses have their their company vehicles registered to the business address? Address. That that would be the requirement. I mean, I think that's a fair requirement. Like if uh, so, they would still only be able to get one decal per address. No, this is that's not what this is saying. You can get multiple, but each permit sticker that you pay for has to be tied to that registration. Okay, it has to be a Conway registration. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. yeah may, I, may I add something or interject something here? Uh, when you move around uh, to a new town, I believe you have up to six months in which to get your registration transferred. So there might be new residents who don't yet have a registration in Conway for several months, but they might want to use the transfer station. That's true, but we could always use another form of proving, you know, like you Good. do. You, Good. you want to be fair about this sort of thing. Yeah. And you don't, you know, if you tell people, if they live here and you tell people this, uh, you can't dispose of your trash here, then it's going to end up at the side of the road. <laughs> yeah. like, nobody wins. Um, this is where it gets complicated because my concern is you have one household, multiple permits per household, and we give however many stickers we're going to give per permit. So one household could pay, let's say we charge 30 bucks. You see what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah, so, so, so what we'll be doing is we're going to have a Google Doc that the four of us share, and I'm going to, so I'm going to have a big spreadsheet, and it can be sorted by households. So I will know when the, if, because you guys haven't voted to do this yet, if you vote to do that, to give out the trash stickers as well, then if I have this all tied by license and household, or, you know, street, I'll get a street listing from Lori and do it that way. Yeah. Then I will know that 
the proper number of trash stickers has gone out to that household as opposed to for each car. And, and there are specific households, like I, I've already been approached by someone that, um, a household that uh, they go to Florida for four months every winter and their child who lives not in Conway comes and house sits or looks after the house and wants to be able to go to the transfer station. Right. Their car, they don't take their car for it. No, they, they do, oh, they okay. do. and that's the problem. So mm -hmm. like, there's situations like that, and I don't quite know. We came up with solutions for that as well, because you believe you're gonna get every variation on every mm -hmm. problem. And we would have them come in and get permits. So they could say, okay, this is based on your car vehicle sticker, and we're gonna give you this many for your child or whoever to hand to the attendant that says, I have permission and I can be the one to sign off on it, but it's a limited number. And the, you know, I, we can make sure that it's, that it's both accessible, but also controlled. Okay. I mean, this so, isn't that different from our current policy, except that you won't be able to get stickers at the dump. Then and we, you have to show and your, you have to show your registration. And that was key because people people had figured out that if you just do the whole thing online, one right, that, yeah. that that even though all over the place on that application it says Conway only, Conway only, Conway only, it, it didn't it didn't stop the people right. that just honestly put down Buckland or Deerfield or whatever. And um and so that's <clears throat> and then you really couldn't like say to the our police, you couldn't say you know, stop that person because, because they weren't lying on the application. They were telling the truth. So have we done an audit of the applications? Um, Do we know like, this to be we, true? Uh, so I, there, there, there have been a day, I know I, I volunteered for an entire day there and I know Erica volunteered. And just for my one day as a volunteer, I, I observed these things. Okay, and, and I'm just I'm just saying there is an application. You're saying people are putting down their their real addresses on the applications. Yeah. Yes, we have copies of all those applications. Yes, correct. Yes. So we have even more simple math than that. There's more apartments in the households. Yeah. Okay. So and, and and like it's 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 fundamentally unfair to like make the transfer station attendants be law enforcement. You know, right? Like, like get in people's yeah, faces yeah, with it. They have a trunk yeah. filled with trash. And say no, get out. Um, like that's not the the reality is that's a really hard thing for anybody to do. And also when there's like ten cars lined up, right, ready, ready to come in to, to like that chunk of time, just you know, it's like stuff's got to function. And like that stuff, that's that's that was really difficult. And even when I was there, when the person from Buckland that I knew, um, he, and, and and he's like, yeah, I just you know, I, I just wrote down that I'm from Buckland, and they gave me a ticket, a sticker. And I'm, you know, and and I knew the guy, and I still didn't have it in me to say get lost. So like, how how can I can't ask the transfer station guys to do that when I? It's a hard thing to do. So, um, so it, it, and, and like they don't give you weapons to like defend <laughs> yourself. So, um, if the board did vote that, um, or you know, propose this at the, because I'm not sure what you're, what you're proposing to do with the. So we're getting, we're getting, we're getting, yeah. That. We're but getting if you do do this, I would say the sooner the better because we're going to have to heavily advertise if right. the system changes because everybody's going to be messed up because they're all going to be expecting it at the, at the transfer station. Mm -hmm. I mean, my only concern is that, I mean, um, on the one hand, this is like less for the transfer station attendants. On the other hand, if they have to look at stickers and match the stickers to the license plate, the, it's, it's that, like a second check. So, in other words, yeah, I mean, if some if somebody, but they've already shown us a Conway registration, right? So, okay, and and we'll have it in our database. So if they try to get more than one for the same registration, it'll be there for us to double check and say, no, you already got one for that vehicle. Right. Okay. So it's really just if they if they have a question, they could look at that and then look, you know, and be like, okay, it matches. Yeah, if they have to. James trying to get rid. In some in some towns, do spot checks. You know, like on a weekday, um, not necessarily on a Saturday when it's really busy, but on a on a weekday, they may just, you know, choose an hour and just kind of spot check to make sure that permit that the sticker matches the license plate. So, you know, that kind of random checking keeps people honest. Um, the other thing I wanted to to add is that 
Um, and I know you're not ready to make decisions about all of this and that's, that's fine. I, I'm, I'm willing to come back. Um, some, I think orange is the only town that takes business that allows businesses in and they just have a higher, uh, permit fee. So if it's whatever number, $30, Chris said 30, $30 for residents, then a business might be $130 or, you know, whatever you feel is appropriate because they typically have more waste than a, than a household. I mean, it really depends, but that's just, I just want to put that out there as an option. You could have a, a second tier um, price for businesses. I think as a town, we stand out for our complete lack of businesses. Um, and just, we have just a handful. Um, it, uh, we have, a, especially we have a handful of trash generating businesses. So, um, it, you know, we may have a few others that count technically as businesses, but, um, yeah, so. Well, I, you know, I came, I came this evening because, um, Veronique asked me to save the date for the second forum. And I said, okay, what's the agenda? And she said, well, we don't know yet. So um, yeah. I'm happy to show up at the meeting. I'm hoping to, to prep for it. Um, it, you know, from my perspective, it felt like um, the board, Chris and the board did a really good job and there was some really, you know, good discussion. Um, and I don't know, Veronique, if you got any feedback after, but um, I'm not sure what another, another i'm not sure how much more we could present unless the board was ready in the next week to completely implement you know to vote on a new system and that would be the meeting um but well know, my but, feeling is that like the reason i want to have another public forum is for people who just didn't get the opportunity to attend the first forum so i think we can stick with that same agenda and now that we have this new proposal i think that should also be on the agenda as well but i mean i just i'm in favor of like more like the more that we can be visible about these changes, the better. I um, so I, I mean, I, I I don't think that anything necessarily needs to change, except for the addition of what we're talking about here, the change to the transfer station stickers and that process. Um, but I, I I just want to have that second forum just so people who didn't come to the first month can come and voice their opinion. Yes, Jen, I want to change a thing out of the PowerPoint I presented last time outside of the last page, which was the proposal page. Okay, well, I'm happy to work with you. I mean, it's coming right up, but you know, I'm happy to I'm happy to work on it or look at it, and I'll it's on my calendar, so I'll be there. And it sounds like the agenda is the same agenda as the last time, just kind of a repeat. That's correct. Okay. And then uh, about you know what I what I heard um, Veronique say, and I know I, I believe Jan is also in favor of the, that idea is for the select board to just implement what the suggestions are. I still think that it's that that the for us in Conway it makes more sense to have town meeting pass on it, and my the whole idea again um, was to have it be a non-binding referendum that the select board would agree to accept the results of if. Um, we like the results. If we like the results, <laughs> which, but what it, but it allows for that discussion and that vote for the wider group that isn't going to come to any of the meetings. And it's okay, we don't have to do it. But I just wanted to say that that's still, um, we're allowed to disagree with you. I know. It's, no, it's, I it's, <laughs> it's, it's okay. Um, and yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, like, and I'm okay when everybody looks at me and says, you're nuts. Um, like, because I'm used to that all my life. Uh, but, but, uh, but, <laughs> but, but um, I still think that for, for us in this town, that that's the way to go. And and be, because and I do remember at the, when we did have that little meeting when at right at the end when I asked people, there was feedback from the room. Yeah, let's 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 have that at town meeting. Um, but I, you know, and I I understand like the the, 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 the there's a fear that town meeting still going to go off the off the reservation and just do something nuts, but that's why we have an out saying that it's non-binding and we don't have, to, and, and, um, and I also think that, um, you know, we as a town, we have, you know, we're the town that in 1794 declared war on France at our town meeting. Like, like <laughs> there, there is no, there is no, the, the sense that there's like, oh no, only do budget stuff at town meeting. Like that's not, our, you know, our, our DNA is to pass on the questions of the world at our town meeting. 
and um, and we, you know, we're still at, in a state of war with the Republic of France. They haven't surrendered yet. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'll I'll take one bottle of wine for their surrender. But like, you know, um, but it's yeah. But but so so like I yeah. And again, for the record, I feel like it's disingenuous to. First of all, I think it sets a bad precedent to put anything. That's not act that that like the select. I think I just feel like it sets a bad precedent. If it's a thing that we don't have to take to town meeting. That's really the purview of the select board. I think it just it, it maybe it on bad precedent, but it sets a precedent to like take everything to town meeting, which complicates town government. Um, and I heard people at the end of that meeting saying, "Don't take it to town meeting because." you're gonna get what you want because you get everything you want at town meeting. And then other people saying like, don't take it to town meeting because you're not gonna get what you want. I think there's a reason that we have this like representative democracy and um, I just, I wanna have as many opportunities for people to understand the decisions that we make, to weigh in on those decisions that we make, but I don't wanna cede, you know, okay. the, the Responsibility of this board right, to tell me. Fair, fair enough. So that's one to one, Chris. So, I love you either way. I love you either way, Chris. Come on. Which which is it going to be? Well, there's not that, there's not anything we need to vote. Like we we're, we're not voting. We're just discussing. Well, in a way, you so, sort of are because the Warren articles are supposed to be. Yeah, so, yeah. That that's why because right. this is like the and Warren article day. So. I feel very strongly that so last the time decisions we, we make about the transfer station should not be a town Warren article. Last time we discussed this. <laughs> yeah. I think you might remember you got a, <clears throat> you didn't get upset, but I took um, Erica's side. I won't get upset though. I'm, I'm like, I'm over that. <laughs> What's that? Um, I stick that I'm with Erica on this one. All right. It's like saying to somebody, you know, those conversations you have where it's like, don't get mad at me about what I'm about to tell you. And then the answer is, Sure, no problem. I won't get mad at you unless you upset me. <laughs> you, you, I like saying that. So I'm with Eric on this. Either either we say it's your vote and we take your vote. Oh, I'm not saying it at all. Right, and that's what that's why like <laughs> like because then it could go off the rails. Take like, a non-binding resolution to town. You just say like, what do you think about this? Because regardless of what you say, we're going to do whatever we want. You know, I just that to me is not. Not to mention this is a gaping wound. <laughs> And it's up to us to block it and to stop the bleeding. Right. The select board has spoken. <laughs> can I uh, can I just chime in as a I'm late to this conversation, obviously. Um, but uh, so I have two questions really, um, or one statement, and that is, to the best of my knowledge, I don't think the town has ever differentiated between commercial and uh, residential trash, uh, for better or for worse. Um, two, wouldn't paper throw solve a lot of the problem, um, uh, notwithstanding figuring out how to collect? Well, no, they don't collect cash. You buy bags for that. I don't know how you deal with bulky waste and that and construct, you know, demolition type stuff. They come to our forum right. on a Thursday because this is <laughs> okay. <laughs> Was about. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the, th the third thing to consider is uh, take my own situation i share a truck with my son it is not garaged in conway but there are times we have taken the truck filled it up with our trash and brought it to the transfer station what do you do with that you know so just things to consider yeah everybody's gonna have their yeah. personal yeah. random things here and there you know, at the last forum we had, we had a lot of people saying, are we sure this is going to work? Pay as you throw is going to work. I think this, I think that, I think this. These aren't experts. I wasn't, you know, I want everybody's opinion, of course, but opinions really don't matter in this case when we have empirical evidence that it does work in other towns. Yeah. So that was what the whole PowerPoint, yeah. everything Jan gave us. It's what it was all about to show all these surrounding towns. This worked in, and it worked well. It will work here. I mean, basically, we're hemorrhaging cash yeah. on the transfer station, and this is uh, this is the first attempt at a band aid. Yeah. yeah, we. I know in the past we nixed paper throw, 
because the feeling was it's it's going to be thrown on the side of the road. That was one reason why we nixed it in the past. And the data from surrounding towns has shown that that's not the case when towns move to paper throw. So like, come to the come yeah, to the forum. Yeah, <laughs> well, Thursday May is not the best <laughs> night for me. But. That was actually one of the things I wanted to change in the proposal. Is you know we we were talking about just basically banning um, not just construction debris, but um, the bulk, uh, what's it called? bulky waste, the bulky waste in general. And that's where the major concern was with people not being. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't think we should ban bulky waste. And it needs to be a tiered approach with everything we're doing with the transfer station. So if we don't get to, um, I know, Barony, you have already a list of items for. So yeah, Jim might have reviewed them and right. yeah, for so all the bulky can, prices. Yep, and we can add that. And you may also want to have a discussion. I don't know if it's too soon for this or not, but whether you still want to accept cash up at the transfer station. We're just getting our management letter um, from the auditors, and that's one of the areas they flag is. Mm -hmm. And the attendants have, um, I, th I think, unanimously said that, that they're really okay if they don't have to handle any cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, and they're not bonded. So, right. you know, it would make a lot of sense to go to mm -hmm. and check. Okay. But if we do that, we may also want to come up with a system, probably with Jan's assistance, for figuring out if there's some way that we can have payment through town hall where they can, you know, so they can come in with cash if they have to. Some people don't have checks, and we can't do electronic up at the transfer station. So there are issues there. So the mattress sheets and that kind of thing would be mm -hmm. paid to town hall. Can okay. they do Venmo while they're sitting in line, <laughs> sitting in line in their car? <laughs> Yeah. North, Northfield has a, you know, they, they have electronics and other uh, waste that is a fee and it's all paid by their, uh, uh, through the uh, webpage online. And then you get a receipt, it prints it, you know, it gives you a receipt and you take that receipt with you to the transfer station. So it could be on your phone or it could be a hard copy, you know, paper copy, but um, a lot of towns, and we can talk about this at the, at the, we can talk about this offline or we can talk about this at the forum, but um, wow. Some towns accept cash. Some towns are check only. And at Northfield, you have to prepay. So there's lots of, as as Veronique said, there are a lot of solutions for, you know, depending on what meets the needs of your community. Download Venmo and needing yeah. instructions on how to set it up and work it. No Wi Fi. Yeah, there's, there is no Wi Fi there's there. No wi -Fi the there's no Wi Fi. The only reason I brought it up was because it was in our audit, you know, management letter. Yeah. And I thought it was worth at least having a discussion yeah. about. Cash. All right. So next Thursday, everyone come next Thursday when we. Yep. Mm -hmm. so Good time. Five thirty, I think. But on we made it five thirty. Yeah. yeah. When we talk about the last best transfer station in Western Massachusetts. <laughs> so, so uh, Chris and Bernie, why don't why don't the three of us connect either later this week or come up with a time when we can go over stuff and update? Sure. That'd be great. Thank you very much. Yeah. You're you're welcome. Yep. Anytime. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I'll see you folks next week. Yeah, okay. See you. All right. Take care. Be well. Thanks. That's actually a week Yeah. Yeah. Next week. Next week. Next week. Um, oh, you're saying, you're saying it's two weeks? It's, it's, it's the 13th. So it's 10 days from now, technically. Yeah. yeah. Next week. <laughs> So, okay, so sorry, Finance Committee, that was an extended transfer station just to discuss. Now you but, don't have to come um, on first. Good fun, because because you have you have you have a preview. Uh, yeah, yeah, you got preview. So you, you do have um you do have a form, so you can call your meeting to order. Yeah. And I hereby call the uh, Finance Committee, the Town of Conway, twenty in order to the uh, Honorable Select Board. Motion, second, love, parents. All right. So, um, the first item on the agenda: the Assessor's Office Budget Revision. Yes. Hello, all. Um, we've had a situation arise that is becoming uh, something that we need to solve, and it's the fact that the Tyler Evaluation Program is not working well for us. It is a program that the state recommended when they gave up supporting the one we had through the state. Uh, they worked with Tyler, which was a national vendor, to 
adapt something they had to try and adapt it to Massachusetts. It has not worked well. Uh, about half the towns that originally went to Tyler have backed off and gone to some other program. And we feel that it might be very wise and in the long run cost effective for us to do the same thing. And in order to get it on the warrant, I have some figures to bring to you tonight that would cover the cost of converting over to a new system. Hate to do it. I've stuck with Tyler. Uh, their support has been reasonable, occasionally good, depending upon who picked up our complaint ticket or our question ticket. But sometimes it has been very lagging in time, and we haven't heard from one of their technologists for a week. Um, it has problems inherent in things like Massachusetts programs, like the chapter land calculations. And we had to find the answer and tell them, quite frankly. And so we would like to be able to seriously think about switching over to what was the old Patriot program. It's now, they've been sold and so it's now called AP5. And it, we've had the demonstration twice. We've been able to ask, oh, God, 45 minutes worth of questions of them. Plus, I've talked to several other towns that have made this switch. It's working very well for the communities that have switched. Uh, their support is good, and it's free of cost. Their turnaround time is very good. And so we looked into it in detail as far as what we need to do. The program itself, uh, we've come up with a just line called conversion for the moment, I think. And uh, if it happened, that would be separated out amongst its several lines. But the components of that figure that you see as conversion are 10,500 for the program itself, the one-time cost, $2,500 for the first year of support, $2,300 for the changes that Cartographic would need to make in order to uh, coordinate our various mapping modules with this, with AP5. And then we've added another uh, 2,500 out. Uh, Veronique, what did we set aside on? All I had in here was just those three. Okay. But I did have a figure calculated out for some extra time on my part. Well, most of the time, I think, could be taken from my regular hours, a large part of it, certainly. So I think that I had I had calculated in 100 extra hours. Right at the moment, I'm at $2,497 an hour, so $2,500. That total uh, totals out on my um, list here to $15,300. What I'd like to do is ask that we put an article in. At the moment, pat it a little bit, maybe call it 17.5. And then at town meeting, I could come and say, no, we left room, but it isn't going to be that much. Um, one question that we have is what we need for hardware. Uh, Brookfield, Massachusetts had to upgrade and get a server. And they're sending me their specifications. And so is AP5, so that Roy can look at them. But I'm out of town today and won't be back until Wednesday. So I don't know that they came in today because uh, Laurie Lucier wasn't in the office today either. Unfortunately, she's ill. But um, so that remains to be seen. But with a couple of thousand dollars more, we're, we'd be well covered, I believe. The question, of course, is how to pay for it. I understand that you feel that the ARPA funds are getting pretty well hit. But I have a thought. We are going to be able to release, I believe, close to $30,000 from overlay reserve into overlay surplus. And that can be used, once, once it's been released, that can be used for any lawful purpose between now and the end of the fiscal year. So it could be used at town meeting to pay for this. Would that not have to ask? Go ahead. 
So, I'm sorry, Lee, would, would that include the salary? Because I don't have that. The the fifteen three that's in here is yep. just the the ten five. The three things you mentioned first that does not include any of your time. That's correct. And that, yeah, and that would have to be put up in the salary line, and I'm I think that gets a little tricky with the no. This is a conversion. I would, I would put down training staff time. Yeah, you know, all that. But this this is an independent process. It yeah, would not yeah. be repeated yearly, so it should not be an annual budget. It should not be a budgeted item. It should be a freestanding. Well, but, except for the twenty five hundred annual support, right? Well, That's yeah, well, that right. Be next year. But to the uh, one time conversion, uh, yeah. I would suggest that you put together some brief overlay budget, estimated staff time, hardware, software. Yep. Mm -hmm. One shot deal. So does that need to happen at town meeting? Do we need to budget it so that it comes out of assessments it's first? More than five thousand, so we have to be... Yep. Wait, wait, hang, hang on a sec, uh, Lee. Yep. Um, this is the first I've, well, second I've heard of it. The first was <laughs> so I, but I, I, is is it really? I mean, this this is something a state encouraged, and. Is there no fixing this? Was Tyler out of business or going out of business? No. One of the things I feel very cautious about is that they originally signed up to work with 71 or two towns to do this. They're now down to about 30 because of towns going to other systems because of their unhappiness with this program. I wonder how long Tyler is going to continue to support it aggressively. Mm -hmm. For the towns remaining, it That's, seems to me like something of a this lost situation, this and I don't want to see their annual fees go up. Right now, it, their annual fee is forty six hundred. Yeah, this sounds crazy that um, they couldn't stop this earlier on. Um, well, the the estate worked, as I say, very aggressively with them. There was a committee that researched it carefully and felt that Tyler was the best option at the time, and they assigned people to work with Tyler. But uh, I yeah. continue to work with them, and and uh, I mean it's it is it's kind of shocking, and it's I mean you can't be happy about this because you got to run at least a year in parallel with two systems to make sure everything is uh, is coordinated, and yes, uh, it's very it's kind of upsetting. Do the folks in the Commonwealth know that this has happened? Ah, uh, yes, I believe they do. Yes. They had they had supported the old right. evaluation I, I, system that we had. I remember. Um, yeah. They did vote. The state put some money toward this new one, and both to save the towns from costs, yeah. upfront costs on it. Yeah. And um, I don't know what other possibilities they had, um, but... This one has not worked out well for many of many towns. It's it's possible, and I'm not trying to make excuses for Tyler, but maybe they couldn't get the help they needed. This is I possible. don't know. Yeah, yeah. Or I think Massachusetts uh, valuation and assessing is certainly somewhat distinctive from other states. Yeah, and so trying to uh, adapt something built for other states may have presented some problems too. I've continued to work with people who are using it in other towns to continue my training in it. And uh, there's a good remainder of the user group is always sending out inquiries to each other. Well, how did you cope with this one? How did you cope with that one? And so they are a helpful source, but they're getting to be a smaller group. Jeez. Um, Lee, is, is Tyler still like the preferred vendor for the state for this software? There, there are several um, vendors that are are support are not supported, but recommended by the state, accepted by the state. I should say they're one of them. This AP five from Patriot is another. Vision Properties is a third, but they come in at around thirty thousand to start with. And Plus very very high <laughs> maintenance costs. And half the towns have used Tyler. Who moved to Tyler? Have in your understanding have like moved away. The ones that have gone to the AP5 are becoming very happy with it as they <laughs> learn their way around it. Uh, they find that the support is good. The training's a little iffy. They give you manuals, but um, they've been known to send a person out for a day free. 
and they have very good unlimited telephone support. People have been happy about that. I have a question, Lee. Does yeah. the FERC have any type of involvement with this? Is there any possibility of the FERC card doing a group deal with all 26 towns? Is it go with exactly. They, they gave up um, their um, arrangement with local assessment many years ago. They used to have assessors on staff for the county who went out to towns and helped with the, the revaluations and all that. But in the early 90s, they had to give that up. Oh, and wow. so the new version, the fur cog, <clears throat> does not have um, any assessing component. Thank you. Yeah. you have they, were, they were county government, they did it. They had more accountability. Yeah, now, they're, now that they're a council, local Yes. yes. Everything's a la carte. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I've, I've talked with, uh, let's see, four towns in the past week that have converted over or in the process. Bernadston is just getting going with it. Um, Brookfield, Williamsburg, uh, let's see, Plainfield, I believe, or Plainville, which one? I can't remember. At any rate, um, and talked with them in detail about how it went. Uh, they Brookfield switched over early last year and they were able to do their January bills from the new program, which I thought was exceptional. And of course they're running it parallel, you know, to the old one for a year. And, um, but they've been very pleased with it. The um, Jill up in Berniston had worked with Patriot in, Greenfield, but it's the old program, so there's no real correlation. Um, she was pretty acquainted with two or three programs, and she feels that for small towns, it's the best option out there. Uh, we don't need all the stuff that Vision can do. We don't even have condominiums, but Vision will do things like uh, large industrial parks and all that kind of thing that's way beyond our needs. Patriot can deal with them, but it, uh, we don't have to. It doesn't have to. Uh, so Roy? No, I, I'm, uh, I, I'm just, you know, it, it's, I'd like to talk to the state people to see what happened, but that's neither here nor there, you know, um, yeah. Um, you know, so I, I would like to ask that this can be, be put on the, on the warrant. If we end up deciding just stay with Tyler, tough it out. We can simply table it at the time, at town meeting. But yeah, with that, being... In theory, that sounds really good. And the reality too, though, is that 15,000 is half of a percent of our budget. Right. And like, that's, that's, a, that's a thing. And yeah. um, like he, if, if we're gonna not have to pay that anyway, it would be really nice to not have to pay it from day from the beginning. Um, I so, like, <laughs> Lee, Lee, what does Tyler say about this when you talk to him? I mean, have you talked to him about you know your dissatisfaction and and switching vendors? Not in those words. Not <laughs> in those words. I I've talked with the uh, person who is the wrangler for questions and. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, when I have a question for how to do this or what to do there, um, she's the person who takes it. And she said, Massachusetts does seem to have problems with it. And they're trying to work on it from their end as well. Mm -hmm. Um, which leads me to think that maybe we would decide to stay and not have to spend any money at all. Are there any exit fees from the contract that we should earn? There have not been so far, no, for the towns that exited. Sure. Yeah. Saying that Usually there's an arbitration agreement. So this out. is like a placeholder, and it's only going to be an expense till we get to town meeting, and then it's not going to be. No, she, that was not my sense. Lee, Lee we, so. Don't you so overlay money you're talking about? The, the board, I think, would like to. My, my board. And Lori uh, seemed to feel that 
um, it's time to fish or cut bait. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm still want to make sure it's the absolutely right thing to do. The a conversion is a very difficult process. It's lengthy. It's detailed. Uh, if nothing else, you have to have a two week open house for people to come in and, and you know, view their changes if there are any, these types of things. Mm -hmm. And so it's not something you go into lightly, but also in terms of uh, the coming years, I want us to have a good workable system that someone can come in and take over. Okay, so the the annual operating cost for Tyler, you said was five thousand. Uh, forty six hundred for next year. And for AP five. AP five is twenty five hundred. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, so then you're talking fifteen thousand for implementation of new product. You get yep. to that fifteen thousand in cost savings for your yearly operational cost. And yeah. And and Tyler does Tyler does have a four percent per year yeah. um, booster built into their annual fee. Well, how much percent per year? Four. Four. Yeah. Well, they're all you know all that support stuff is mostly uh, human resource and yes. Uh, last I looked, the pay wasn't going down, and that's right. why they have that. And the same yeah and. You know, I'm sure the AT, ATP, is that it? Is that it? Well, AP, uh, AP5. 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 You know, no, but you, there's no guarantees in this. The sensible way to have done this, honestly, uh, but we don't do it that way in America, was for the state, the Commonwealth, the contract to assure a good-sized contract with a, a good uh, with a good company and work this thing out so that we have something. Instead, they threw money at it, and we got nothing anyway. Uh, it's yeah. very infuriating, and this is not the first time this has happened in the Commonwealth. Um, right. So it's I I I, I don't know what this. What I pass? <laughs> okay. Oh, I know. <laughs> it's 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 over the dam and under the bridge. But if they had given the towns, the seventy some odd towns, the amount of money that they put into it, we all could have gone into another program. <laughs> of our choice years ago. <laughs> well, this is so. Uh, was Ty, is, does Tyler have out of state? Uh, is Tyler a Massachusetts company? No. They're no, not. no. It's a national company based, I think, in Ohio. Oh, this is like insanity. I, I you know. Well, I, I, my question is really about timing because you're talking about like this is a, this is going to be a massive implementation to switch to a new system. <laughs> Is now the right time to make that decision just based upon the, you know, or can we not doing a rebound for the next year? So. Right. So, can we, that's can right. we, like next fiscal year? I mean, you're working with the system that's less than ideal right now. Mm -hmm. I feel like I agree with Bill, like to bump our budget up an extra $15,000 is a lot when some of our budgets, I feel like, are already, we've already like under, <laughs> we've like, mm -hmm. we've asked for less than we really should have. So is there a way? Money, if the money is taken from overlay surplus, it does not affect the budget in, by a penny. Right. But does that, is that, and that, to forgive my ignorance, but is that something that like has to be done at town meeting? Or if there is this overlay surplus, is this like something that we could do like a special town meeting in December or when we actually have that money? Doesn't that go to free cash? Yeah. Yeah. So free cash. this is that free cash. With the budget, yeah, yeah. So, so either you're going to use the majority that goes to uh, right. free cash. So, so either you're going to use free cash for this, and we could just put it yeah. on the warrant this time, yeah. Um, or you could you could vote ARPA, either one. But what I would say in terms of the timing is that I know that this has been talked about for a while, and I know okay. if I if I misquote you, let me know, Lee. But I think okay. that is to try to get this done as soon as possible, yes. okay, so that yeah. she can train somebody not only convert them but have that person involved in the conversion yeah. so that they understand what happened during the conversion okay. and then then she can be like okay it's all it's all done okay correctly. all right so the timing is important it is yeah. okay yeah, yeah. Right. We were actually the timing is 
year. The timing is good right now because we could have the conversion done over the summer as soon as we had the funds available. And we would certainly not do our fall bills on the new program, but that would give us, you know, a year to get into it and do our uh, fall of 24 bills on the new program in good order with uh, having had a year to double check everything, you know, work out any, any uh, wrinkles, anything like that. The uh, now, what do we have left in free cash? So real, real quick, yeah, real quick. So but you just said about something about taking it out of free cash, but hard enough. So I think uh, what I was going to suggest is that Lee, you and I work on the language for this to present to the finance committee. It's like yeah. word for next week. Okay, we'll put it on the warrant, and they can yeah. discuss. It is going to set up a mock budget put together. that will be helpful too, yeah. if not for us, certainly for town meeting because it'll obviously. Oh, absolutely. Be. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, I thought this year is important because. We'll have a year of track record on here, and then in fiscal year twenty five is a rebound, right? Uh, not till twenty. Uh, yeah, twenty five. Yep. Yeah. So I think the time. No, twenty seven. Yeah, twenty seven. Oh, yeah. Twenty seven. Just oh, wait. Yeah. You, yeah. you wait. I'll take you. Yeah. He's having a ginger. <laughs> I'll, I'll double. I'll double check it. I've quite frankly oh, been saying, okay, it's not for another couple of years. It's not for another couple of years. <laughs> Okay. But, uh, just to make sure I understand something. Okay, so if we implement the new AP5 system, um, we're going to have to use it not in conjunction, but along with the current system, either system we have, yeah. until they get familiar for a year. How much time is left on the current annual operation? It's uh, done uh, by fiscal year. So right now I have three three months left on this year's contract. Okay. So they'll both have to be in for the So, okay. so yeah. we'll have to put another year with the system we need. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And not only that, but the, because of the conversion that had been done prior, yeah. and I, uh, if I understand correctly, there's still a few tweaks that need to be from the prior conversion, and you got to get that sorted out and then do another conversion. So it's, yeah. it's going to be a lot of work on there's just a, there's just a few things, right? Lee? It's not too but much. Yes, but. yeah, very few, and they're they're a matter of uh, Tyler's processes not being able to be seen. In other words, um, right at the moment, we can't see how it's calculating up the parts of a house to come up with the total value, mm -hmm. um, which is what we want to be able to see. Yeah, you yeah. know how much is is being allowed for roofing? How much is being allowed for three bathrooms as opposed to two and a half? This type of thing. It's a, called a cost ladder, and we want to be able to show that to the property owner. Yeah, and yeah. It, we've not been able to in Tyler, and their method of calculating depreciation is totally ba backwards from what we had had previously, which made complete and total sense. And we don't see why they did it this way because it's not uh, intuitive at all. And so if questions like this are important. If we're saying your house has 17% depreciation on it, and you say, really? How did you come up with that figure? I need to be able to answer it. Yeah. And yeah. it's it's been hard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Great. So we'll bring back a on the warrant for on the draft warrant yeah. next week. This article. Great. Wow. So we have a placeholder, do we? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Somewhere I'll between talk to you. circles of hell. <laughs> 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 I know. That's what it feels like sometimes. Okay, I'll well. talk to you as, as soon as I get back on Wednesday, Veronique. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, all. Does either committee have to make a motion to put that on? Or is that just. Well, yeah, we have to make it. Yeah, yeah, next week. Oh, yeah, next just week. Got it. Okay, so that's first budget. Yeah. Yeah, this, was, this had to be tonight because it's just the yeah. deadline for getting into you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. So that, um, that was actually that was a useful discussion. I learned, yeah. I learned the difference. Yeah. <laughs> I learned some things I'm probably going to forget right when I walk out the store. But um, that was good. That was good. Of course, we'll be back here next, next week. week. Next week, to learn all over again. Yes, yes.
So the, the, actually, the, this was this was good. The, the one thing I did not get. So the, of, of all of our departments, the assessor's office is the only one that in the budget is an increase in stipends. And it's it's a it's a very it was like I think a hundred dollars per for free. Yeah. But this did catch the attention of some of, the, of somebody else in town that was just like you know the planning board requested that they be given. We our planning board is completely volunteer. It's a, some there it's like a savage amount of work that we ask of them, like for real. Yeah. Um, and. The, the, as far as I know, we might be unique among towns in not offering anything to them. And it was like this year, the budget didn't really permit, uh, and it's because there's five of them. Like, we, we didn't. Uh, so, but but so, so this was a year when we said, no, we can't even afford to give any, any stipend whatsoever to a planning board. But we're doing... Well, they actually they actually withdrew it before it got they did to, withdraw they it because they saw the writing on the wall year. and because they're yeah. gracious, nice people, and they didn't yeah. want to put us in a bind. And yeah. um, although we jumped into that bind, I jumped into that bind all by myself anyway, voluntarily. But um, yeah, so so that's just you know I, that that being said, I think that the assessors absolutely to deserve that hundred dollar like extra so there's like no question about it like, that's also also a hard, a, a, suffer, a long suffering for well, um, we also didn't have the complete discussion yet about the poll and what kinds of races so that none of that was actually set but stipends don't requests. get any raises at all so don't get any cola at all stipends or except stipend. the board of health one does and so that is something are, that we should be it depends at. on yeah it's a little that was a relic of the board of health overseeing the transfer station oh, mm -hmm. and that doesn't take place so um yeah so that's that we should be we should be we should be having a stipend discussion we should sure. be having a stipend discussion yeah. and that would be one the of personal the personal community <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just, pretty soon we're just going to be. I think Alan just volunteered. Uh, pretty soon we're just going to be handing all of these. He can't right now. Yeah. No, that's pretty soon we're just going to be handing all of these issues to straight to the, the Crane family to deal with. <laughs> Aren't we lucky? <laughs> uh, uh, all right. So the discussion of the budget as a whole, like, I don't, we're, we're, it's still an ongoing thing. Maybe, you know, what we do know right now, the numbers add up. The numbers, that's a good thing. I'm mm -hmm. excited about that. Because mm -hmm. it's, that, as far as I can remember, that's relatively rare at this point. <laughs> so, um, so that's good. And aside from that, we might be done. Yeah. And you want to have any discussion about the presentation at town meeting and how we're going to approach that? Or is that something we should have off? That's something I think the finance committee should yeah, discuss on town. Yeah. And the capital improvements, right? Yeah. 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 I still need to do with you. Yeah, I know. I know. And you've got a lot I, of I everything to, to fill us. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Congratulations. When is the 45 day mark to the meeting? April 21st? 45 day mark. 45 day mark to our meetings. I mean, yeah. Have the state 45 days before that annual town meeting. Right? Do anything 45 days. That's a school. That's a yeah. school well, statute. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so we have to have a, Article 1 warrant, too, has to be uh, Article 2 of it has to be uh, mm -hmm. decision between now and the end. April 24th is the date to vote um, the warrant. Yeah. So, so you will be, yeah. yeah. So you'll have to have all these decisions made. You've got three meetings. Let's to vote the warrant, but can we, it can, there can be subject to number revisions? No, no, because once it's voted, it, we've got to get to the printer. We've got to do all kinds of That's stuff. Submitted to the the oh, it's just I, interesting. No. So there used to be placeholder warrants in my old town. They would, they would have a, a, a warrant placeholder for things that they didn't, they weren't sure of at the time of printing. That's a well. That's, that's I, sort of an end around of the spirit of the thing. But yeah, you just, can't, you know, because the constable, you know, I have to get mm -hmm. to the constable by a certain time, mm -hmm. and he's got to post it legally, mm -hmm. and then I've got to get it. in. so it's technically it has to be I want to say fourteen days um, mail, but we also have the annual report. <laughs> so it's, and actually, we we are contractually obligated 
to uh, in, in the four town regional agreement with our school, the the all the warrants are supposed to be submitted by December first. That's what our contract says. So like we're already, you know, mm -hmm. we could sue each other. The four towns could sue each other, but nobody wants yeah. nobody. You well, can't do it by that deadline. Anyway. Yeah, and so that's just yeah. reason number three hundred and thirty seven why you should amend that agreement, but. Um, that's right yeah that's right mm -hmm. so and we could you know just because the warrant you know if you vote it on the 24th and then close the warrant does not mean that you can't reopen it it's up to the select board but you know it would be something that you really want to hold you know hold the presses we've got to get this in there kind of thing so we've done that before yeah literally the day before it went to the printer mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Yeah. You had something change at the day the time we were going to use operating capital. Gosh, for operating budget, like a cello. <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. It's really yeah. good, though. It's a count. Yeah. Well, let's put it this way I make sure yeah. that the warrant goes by our accountant and town council, so there shouldn't be any issues. <laughs> Somehow there always is, anyway, though. It's okay. This is the housekeeping. The uh, school budget. I sent you an email, also Elaine. I don't. I think you don't have any details of, of, of the budget that was voted on. School committee and school budget was kind of grammar. You can send it to me. I'll send you one to you. Yeah. Yeah. I only have the one. You only have the condensed I, one. I, I, I don't know if I have. I I know but I have it for Frontier, but yeah, she sent it for Conway Grammar too. Yeah, we we saw that. I didn't, I didn't get it a couple of weeks ago. I think it sent it along. It's on. It was at it was a school committee meeting back in March. It was never handed out to public That was blooming. I thought we had it for the mm -hmm. last meeting with the grammar school. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I made it. Oh, you weren't at that one. Okay. Yeah, I said I said Alan would be really thrilled to see this. Right. Because okay. he was but this I is I specifically what he's asking. Well, I thought that was capital. Report. No, it was the whole. No, it was uh, the whole thing. Yeah. Well, I think it's sent it along. Okay. Yes. And um, and uh, Jesse just came out today with the. Um, I think I sent it along to you right after I sent the omnibus. They came out for the uh, non-resident tuition for vocational oh, schools. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at least that's out to us now. So I can finalize. Finalize. There, there will be a couple like I stuff that we didn't really expect at the time of that meeting, like the. The stage curtain thing is not going to be funded by CPA, and the track the CPA voted down the track, so that was just for Frontier. That was just like two thousand something dollars. Well, here I can I can show you. But that's you. something that um, we we have to pay. Yeah. Like, the track thing we have to pay, right. even if we vote no, we're going to pay for it. So like it doesn't we have to pay? So yeah, let me show you so far what I have in here. Oh, sorry for Article Two. There's a better way to get through all these, but no, no, it is a big thing. Okay, so these are just a couple of the items that, you know, for Warren articles that I know they're going to have. So you see here, I did put the stage curtain for the grammar school is free cash. Um, what was the other one you were just talking about? The track was your frontier budget. The, oh, okay. So that's, yeah, that's in the frontier budget. And so here, just to give you an update on where we're at so far. So this is the total starting balance, and this is what I've taken out so far. So we're at 136,000. Now my, my inclination is not to put a whole lot more in there and to kind of hang on to some, a yeah. fair bit of free cash yeah. to get us through the rest of the year um, because we don't know what's gonna happen and there's a lot of, Mm -hmm. I would say at least financial uncertainty with it, with inflation and everything else that's going on. Yeah. So, but so it's about two hundred fifty thousand. A hundred thousand of that right there is the fire truck. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Sorry. I know where we are with that. Thank you. That's the budget. That's enough. Fun. That's enough. For, that's enough. <laughs> that's enough budget fun for today. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Roy. Thank you, Roy. Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Thank we'll, you. Uh, I'll see you in the, uh, I'll see you on where, wherever and whenever. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Items not anticipated 48 hours. Anybody? Did we have anything? I got nothing. All right. Town right. Administrator update that has been provided. Anything that you want to talk about in particular? Anybody? It's very comprehensive. I have no questions. <laughs> yes. Excellent. This one, this one revealed a very busy town administrator. In particular, this one. I love knowing what you're up to. Yeah, this was <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and as always, it will be posted on the yes, yes. website. Yes. So anyone can see. Yes. Um, select board members' comments, concerns. Um, may also there's this request for staff 2.0 bills. Did anybody did everybody get that? Yes. Um, so apparently, I am told that we all signed this just a few months ago for the original first time around. Uh, um, I got an email saying, since you signed this before, if they're reintroducing it. Will you please sign it again? And But I don't, I have no recollection of signing it before, but it seems like a good idea. Okay. It must be in a minute somewhere. I thought that too, until I saw it was supported by insurance companies. <laughs> I know. That doesn't make me feel good. No, I, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but. This, are you sure that you No. I don't remember yeah, that either. I don't recall. None of us remember. But maybe um, I got a, 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 a mail, a, an email specifically from Phoebe, what's her last name? Walker. Walker. Walker, thank you. Phoebe Walker saying um, the Conway Select were signed this not that long ago when you signed it again. I can so I can look that up if you want to. It looks like it's an electronic signature, at least for this one. So you can do it, yeah, it's that way. That we, but I don't all right, so you want to look because this says April tenth anyway. So we we, we really we technically have it. a week. We can yeah. 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 table this for a week. Do a little research. Which is our next be. April tenth is our next meeting anyway, so that's yep. perfect. Yeah. Um. Versus contemplating. Oh, no, no, yes. Okay, okay. Yes, please. Thank you. All right. I don't remember signing anything. Either. All right. Um, executive session. So we're going to do this, right? Uh, we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So at this point, we're going to adjourn the public meeting. The next meeting is April 10th. I'm going to ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting um, and convene in executive session for reason number two. To conduct strategy sessions in preparation for negotiation um, with non union personnel, the chief of police contract, um, to discuss compensation um, for said non union personnel. And we do this in executive session because to do it publicly may, may harm the financial interest of the town. We need to keep this seat. Second your motion. And um, we need to do this in a roll call vote. Uh, Erica? Aye. Chris? Aye. And I say aye. So that is unanimous. We are adjourned. Stop the recording. And we will, when we come back, it will be, we will not reconvene in a public session. We will adjourn straight to the Conway and hopefully. <laughs>